사실은 Hi guys and welcome to my new studio vlog As you already read, let's get into the decorating So here I have my new organizer I love the color, it's green, it's perfect, it's great for spring And I'm gonna be having some of my flowers here As well as some of my stationery and books I bought this organizer so that it would be under the table, my desk But it was actually too big, so now I put it here in the corner I still don't know what exactly would be here, at first I'm just putting some random stuff but I will of course figure it out and with more products and everything that I will have it will be very useful to have this organizer. As you can probably tell by, well, everything, a lot of stuff on in my small studio are green and this is kind of my color now, this is the color that I really enjoy. And now here we have some of the stuff that I bought, starting with this cute panda that I bought from the zoo in Vienna. And even though I love the other animals, I think that the pandas, especially red ones, are my favorite kind and I always love seeing them. And this teddy bear was just the cutest, so of course I had to buy it. And now here I am just cutting the tags, don't be scared. And I wanted to post a little vlog about my trip to Vienna, but I just didn't have enough videos so that I would share it and that's why I'm just showing you what I bought there. And now the place that I chose for this cutie pie is of course the green organizer because I want it to be somewhere displayed and not hidden. The other thing from Vienna is actually a present from my boyfriend and it is this beautiful clock from the castle Schönbrunn. got me this beautiful vintage tablecloth but I didn't use it as a tablecloth I kind of use it as a frame it looks just pretty good here on the wall and I really love the way it fits the vibe and here is just a little showcase so that you would know where it's at this feels kind of like a random haul but I just want to show you everything that's new and as you can see this beautiful pink chair cushion that again fits the vibe I started practicing out having flowers in my apartment when I was in college and in this apartment I also wanted to have flowers and plants because I think it's just really healthy for me and it looks amazing for the place. Here as you can see are little small white roses and I really love the vibe of them, they're just so romantic and so beautiful. And for this one, I don't really know what it's called, so please let me know in the comments. I just know that it's going to grow very big and I'm excited for that because I've never had a plant such as this one. This little guy will have white flower. I am so excited to see that, but for all of the plants, I guess we just have to wait. I got these curtains from a thrift shop and they're just so beautiful. I love the embroidery, I love the flower detail and of course the whole aesthetic of it just suits my whole room. There is just something about these little details that add up such energy and aesthetic to the room so definitely pay attention to the details when you are decorating. 
It doesn't even have to be expensive or new in order to be beautiful. As I said, I thrifted this and it looks just as amazing as, as if I would have bought this at a new store. But the truth is some stores don't even have those kind of curtains anymore. <laughs> Now finally the unboxing of my favorite gadget and that is my new printer Canon Pixma. It was actually so easy to assemble but I was kind of scared because of the ink. I'm going to show you this little sneak peek of how I'm unboxing it and I'm also going to show you how I insert the inks and as well the way I print out with all of my settings and i guess it's true when people say that it's just trial and error you need to make a lot of mistakes in order to find your own printing style but once i started printing out on also a really great paper i had no fear because it was perfect <laughs> The first paper that I bought is this HP photo paper in size 10x15 and I didn't exactly read it right and I thought it would be A4 kind of paper but it was actually the small one but it's really perfect, it's glossy and it's great for the photo cards and for the prints. I'm just sad that it has HB logo on the back. I discovered this brand on Amazon. It is a bit cheaper than your usual paper providers such as Canon or HP. And the quality is pretty great, so I'm very satisfied with this one. This paper is actually self-adhesive and of course I will use it for baking stickers and it's going to be even better when I will have a Cricut so that it, it can also cut the stickers. And I have to tell you that the paper quality really matters in the way that the print is going to turn out. Now a lot of the papers like this one come with a very specific instructions that you have to follow when you are having your printing mode and you're deciding the type of paper that you are going to print on, the quality, etc. So make sure that you read this. And now I guess let's start the fun part. First I wanted to show you the way I printed out both stickers and art prints wrong because I used very wrong settings or I wasn't reading carefully. Have in mind that mistakes can happen often, especially if you're a beginner, but also later on. So don't let this, in this encourage you. Just know that you're going to be kind of wasting a paper a little bit, but that's gonna be fine later. When it comes to the deer design, I had some problems because I didn't know how to turn the print, whether vertical or horizontal, in order to get a horizontal print and I had a lot of deer illustrations that just weren't good and then I realized that the paper should be vertical but then you put the settings on the computer differently and then it's going to be good. 
And of course the first few results were really bad because it was not supposed to be like this and then when I realized my mistake it was good and the final illustration turned out really great, vibrant and beautiful. You can see the final result now and it looks exactly like on the computer and the way I drew it in Procreate. Now let's try out printing on a sticker paper and you will see the way the stickers turned out when I will be packing my order and sticking my rabbit sticker onto the envelope. I just have to note that every single print that I print out, I first prepare it on Photoshop because I think that it is kind of the more simple way, but you can of course prepare it on the Canon app itself. Later in the video, I will post a little instruction page so you can print screen it and save it so that you can try it out yourself. But here I clicked on the file and then print and I'm just trying out my printer settings. As you can see, there is an option print settings and then you just select the type of paper that you have. This one is actually glossy, so I'm gonna choose this one and then I'm going to put the quality of the paper high and it's really important that you select the size of the paper that you're printing on. And of course I made a mistake here as well because I chose high quality paper and I was supposed to be choosing glossy paper but it actually corrected me and then it was fine. I also like to add rendering intent into saturation because I feel like then it prints out better quality and brighter photos. And of course here I also made a mistake because I forgot to make a printing size into A4 and I had my previous options where I printed a letter size and then of course the whole part came out wrong. And the next time that I tried it out it was good but I still wasted one piece of paper which was kind of bad because they are not cheap. But oh my god, they turned out so well, so vibrant, I really love the way they turned out and I just wish that I had my Cricut here so that I would be really able to turn them into stickers, but maybe next time in the next video. This first print was just a test to the stickers, next time I am planning on making them a bit smaller because then it's going to be prettier and more aesthetic, but for the first time they turned out really good. And now let's finally make the postcards aka the prints that I illustrated now or last year but I thought that would just look great as postcards or art prints. First I export all of my appropriate files into PSD because this is a format that is only available for Photoshop and it allows you to keep all of the layers so that's useful and then I of course go to file and then print and I set my printing set settings to 10x15 and then the type of media to glossy paper and then here I just tried out the colors but I will not do this right now and then I add printer manages colors as well as this saturation kind of thing and also this print that I created this illustration was not exactly 10x15 so I had to kind of adjust it here so that it would fit the whole print. I also print out all of my stuff in CMYK kind of settings. And then the best part is just watching your prints become real. I got this printer recommendation from Anna Lunak and one of her videos where she said that she's using this printer and I am so glad that I bought it because as you can see the print is exactly the same as the photo on the computer. Let me just show you the print in the better lightning and also here is the photo that you can print screen and then use it as your printing settings.
Now this isn't exactly an order, but it is actually a gift for my friend in Great Britain, Andrew. We first met on Instagram and we became really good friends and we occasionally send each other a happy meal. He's always been there for me whether I stopped posting, I started posting, whatever thing was with me, he was always there and that's why I wanted him to have my first physical products aka my washi tapes and keychains and I of course gifted him both of the washi tapes and I asked him what design of the keychain he wanted and he said that his favorite was a rabbit. So of course that is exactly what he got. I love packing orders and happy mail, it is one of my favorite activities and this time I'm doing it with my own proper products and I'm just so happy about it, I wish that I was able to do it more. Slowly, 